Right, we are here at the Cherry Factory and um, here in uh, Guayan, Cherry make a majority of the buses that are on the road here. And uh, we're now gonna have a little look around their production facility to maybe see how buses are produced here at this facility. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that now. So here we just have, uh, you know, we can see that the interior is being fitted. It's a very bare, bare part of the bus. Some guy's got his tools in here and they're fitting various parts of the bus. Um, and uh, that's obviously will be the front of the bus as you see. So this is uh, one of the cylinders for air brakes that this guy is uh, He's putting the fittings on there, look on, on the ends. So what happened, all the hoses will fit to that. And this is, uh, this is what controls the brakes on your bus. So this is uh, a bus getting uh, fitted out. And you can see from here, this is the, uh, the outside. They're in various stages of production. You can see some bus windscreens over here. And uh, the guy's carrying some of the, uh, the side glass here. So yeah, he's uh, moving it around. A lot of glass going on here. And uh, oh, this has got different logos on. So they obviously made buses for various different provinces. And each one will, I guess, will have a different specification. I'm just gonna go and have a a bit of a look in here. Yes, yeah, so this is a uh, this is quite a small bus, and uh, it's getting an interior fit. It's obviously not. It's obviously far off from being finished, but it's uh, it's getting an interior fit. Oh, so this is a this is a bus that will seat 20 people. This looks like some uh, shock absorbers here, and some sort of uh, pump systems here at the top. Yeah, the uh, guys are fitting all the uh, the fittings. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so it's, uh, oh, there's a lot of electrics going in here by the looks of it, look. So it's fitting, fitting electrics in there. And we'll move on a bit further. As, as you go down here, they're getting more and more complete. Another guy here, look, doing his bit. Oh, uh, this, is the, this is the apartment where the uh, that the motor will go, I guess. Oh no, maybe not, I don't know. A lot of electrical stuff going on there. Apparently, from what I understand, these are one of the, uh, the large bus manufacturers here in China. So uh, this is, uh, obviously you can see a lot more being fitted into here now. This guy is putting, wiring up a load of the electrical circuits, tidying up the, uh, the pipes. And again, you got a guy here um, fitting some uh, electrical stuff. These are all electric buses, as I've said. We'll continue down here, and as, as we come further down, there's more and more stuff getting added. You know, um, oh, this is the front, so you've got like water washer bowls, you got all sorts of different things going on there. So, pretty much here, and it's all finished, and you can see here, look, you got the uh, some nice green seats at the back. There's some nice yellow seats here. A um, couple more seats there. So these are kind of like little mini buses, really. And there uh, we can see here we've got the uh, the driver's cockpit, um, which is uh, pretty cool. And I say these are these are a green bus. They uh, all electric, which is uh, pretty good. So here, this is the bit where you pay your money. Put your money in there, but I'm sure they'll also have something that, that they can use electronic cards or apps. And even up there, look, the driver's got his fan to keep himself cool in the hot weather. So this one is a bendy bus. Look at that. Let's see how quiet that is, because it's all electric. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? They manufacture quite a, a large, range of different buses um, and I guess these are all finished ones waiting to get delivered to customers um, so yeah uh, so you can you can see here this gives you specifications about this particular bus and every one of these has got its own I mean if you look on this look this this will be for a different place to those ones in there 
got different colored seats, it's a bigger bus. Um, again, sort of um, the control panel there for the driver. So now you've seen the buses, we're apparently going to see some um, AI buses, AI buses driving. So I uh, hope we're not too late because I've lost the rest of the group because I've been filming. So uh, let's go and have a look. We're going to experience an AI, artificial intelligence driving of a bus. And that's exactly what it's telling you on the back of this bus here. And uh, with these autonomous vehicles, they have lots of sensors around them and you can see one of those sensors right here. I would imagine this is some sort of radar or LiDAR detector. And then there's, uh, there's one across the other side just there as well, look. We're going to have a look on the bus now. And this is a fully autonomous driving bus. And um, this is quite a larger bus, so we'll uh, have a look down the front. As you can see here, this is... Um, this is where it's used to program it and stuff like that. So right now we're getting to a starting area and then he's going to do it. And as you see, the guy has completely taken his hands off the wheel here. And uh, as I said with the gentleman, they are still in the development and testing phase because the road infrastructure is not yet ready for fully autonomous. But I think they actually have autonomous in kind of airports where they're, they're not necessarily on public roads. And you can see uh, the guy is not actually touching the wheel or the pedals. His feet are completely off the pedals altogether. And his hands are completely off the wheel. Oh, he just is just, that's it. Look, see, because he's seen a, a car coming, so he just has a little stop there. Okay, so we're going around a corner. Oh, yeah, look at that. How good's that? So we're around the corner. Uh, it's obviously using those sensors on the front that I showed you earlier and uh, it's done a good job of that it's gone around the corner very very well the guy hasn't touched that wheel for a, a while he's just sitting there he's obviously sitting there just in case there's a problem um, an emergency because as I said it is still in its uh, testing phase um, they're obviously debugging it um, and this is this is the sort of computer system here. Um, I guess all the brains are in that box there. And then there's a screen up there running through code as it's driving around. Yeah, look at that, that's great, isn't it? It's, it's navigating all that. So it's come up against another bus and it's stopped. It wanted to show you that the bus stops when there's an obstacle in front of the bus. Now he's pressing the button to turn it back into autonomous mode and we're off again. So this, this particular bus can do 30 kilometers an hour. It's speeding up. And uh, we, we, we're getting up to speed now. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's handling that without a problem. Which is, uh, I mean, to be fair, most city buses don't really go that fast because there's always a lot of traffic in the cities. So I hope you enjoyed that little ride on a completely autonomous bus. I did. And uh, although the, the, you know, it's not prime time technology yet, they are obviously making significant progress to doing that. And uh, you know, there's a, there's a good side and there's a bad side. One, it will make buses more efficient and safer, but ultimately it will do bus drivers out of a job. You know, when you get in a lot of countries that are getting an aging population, then sometimes it's some of these jobs, they won't have enough people to do the job. So this autonomous driving will actually bring benefits. That does bring us to the end of this factory, the Cherry Factory, where they make buses. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you do like our channel in general, consider hitting that subscribe button. But as always, for now, take care.